Vesak Pali, Visaka, Sanskrit, Vaisaka, also known as Buddha Purnima and Buddha Day, is a holiday traditionally observed by Buddhists and some Hindus on different days in India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Tibet, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Mongolia and the Philippines and in China, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, Taiwan and Vietnam as Buddha's birthday, as well as in other parts of the world. The festival commemorates the birth, enlightenment Buddhahood, and death of Gautama Buddha in the Theravada or Southern tradition. History The decision to agree to celebrate Wisaka as the Buddha's birthday was formalized at the first conference of the World Fellowship of Buddhists held in Sri Lanka in 1950, although festivals at this time in the Buddhist world are a centuries-old tradition. The resolution that was adopted at the World Conference reads as follows That this Conference of the World Fellowship of Buddhists, while recording its appreciation of the gracious act of His Majesty, the Maharaja of Nepal in making the full moon day of Vesak a public holiday in Nepal, earnestly requests the heads of governments of all countries in which large or small number of Buddhists are to be found, to take steps to make the full moon day in the month of May a public holiday in honor of the Buddha, who is universally acclaimed as one of the greatest benefactors of humanity. On Visakha Day, Buddhists all over the world commemorate events of significance to Buddhists of all traditions, the birth, enlightenment and the passing away of Gautama Buddha. As Buddhism spread from India it was assimilated into many foreign cultures, and consequently Visakha is celebrated in many different ways all over the world. In India, Vaishak Purnima Day is also known as Buddha Janti Day and has been traditionally accepted as Buddha's birthday. In 1999, the United Nations resolved to internationally observe the day of Vesak at its headquarters and offices. The name of the observance is derived from the Pali term Visaka or Sanskrit Vaisaka, which is the name of the lunar month used in ancient India falling in April to May. In Mahayana Buddhist traditions, the holiday is known by its Sanskrit name Vaisaka and derived variants of it. Local renditions of the name vary by language, including Assamese, Buddha Purnima Bado Purnima. Bengali, Buddha Purnima Bado Purnima, Buddha Janti Bado Joyonti Zonka, Duchin Na Zom Burmese, Full Moon Day of Kaisen Chinese, Fu Tuo Dan Shen Jin Yen Ri Pinyin, Fa Tuo Dan Chen Jin Yen Ri, Fu Dan Foden, Birthday of the Buddha, Yu Fu Jie Yu Fo Hie, Occasion of Bathing the Buddha, Wei Sai Jie Wai Sai Jie Hindi, Buddha Purnima Buddha Purnima, Buddha Janti Buddha Janti, Vaisaka Purnima Vaisak Purnima Indonesian, Hari Raya Waisak Japanese, Waji Ri Hanamatsuri Flower Festival Khmer, Visak Bochia Kannada, Buddha Parnami Buddha Purnami Korean Hangul, Sioga Tanzanil Hanja, Shi Ja Dan Shane Ri RR, Sioka Tanshan Il Birthday of the Shakyamuni Buddha, Korean, Bukkonamasanal Buddha's Day Lao, Viksaka Busha Malay, Hari Wisak Hari Wisk Mongolian, Burhan Bagsan E. Dijsan Dr. Lord Buddha's Great Festival Day Marathi, Buddha Purnima Buddha Purnima Nepal Basa, Svanya Punhai Swanya Punhai Nepali, Buddha Purnima Buddha Purnima, Buddha Janti Buddha Janti Odia, Buddha Purnmina Buddha Purnima Sinhalese, Vesak Tamil, Visakat Tirunal Visakat Tirunal Tagalog, Ara Ng Bisiak Telugu, Buddha Parnami Buddha Purnami or alternatively Vaisaka Parnami Vaisaka Purnami Thai, Wizakbaha Wizaka Buka Tibetan, Thl, Sa Ga Dawa Vietnamese, Fat Dan Birthday of the Buddha Celebration May 2007 had two full moon days, the 1st and the 31st. Some countries including Sri Lanka, Cambodia and Malaysia celebrated Visakha on the 1st, and others Thailand, Singapore celebrated the holiday on the 31st because of a different local lunar observance. The difference also manifests in the observance of other Buddhist holidays, which are traditionally observed at the local full moon. 
Likewise, in 2012, Vesak was observed on the 28th of April in Hong Kong and Taiwan, on the 5th of May in Sri Lanka, on the 6th of May in India and Bangladesh, on the 28th of May in South Korea, and on the 4th of June in Thailand. In 1999, the Taiwanese government set Buddha's birthday as the second Sunday of May, the same date as Mother's Day. In 2014, Vesak is celebrated on the 13th of May in Myanmar, Singapore, and Thailand, while it is observed on the 15th of May in Indonesia. On Visakha, devout Buddhists and followers alike assemble in their various temples before dawn for the ceremonial and honorable hoisting of the Buddhist flag and the singing of hymns in praise of the Holy Triple Gem, the Buddha, the Dharma his teachings, and the Sangha his disciples. Devotees may bring simple offerings of flowers, candles and joss sticks to lay at the feet of their teacher. These symbolic offerings are to remind followers that just as the beautiful flowers would wither away after a short while and the candles and joss sticks would soon burn out, so too is life subject to decay and destruction. Devotees are enjoined to make a special effort to refrain from killing of any kind. They are encouraged to partake of vegetarian food for the day. In some countries, notably Sri Lanka, two days are set aside for the celebration of Visakha and all liquor shops and slaughter houses are closed by government decree during the two days. Also birds, insects and animals are released by the thousands in what is known as a symbolic act of liberation of giving freedom to those who are in captivity, imprisoned, or tortured against their will. The practice, however, is banned in some countries such as Singapore, as it is believed that the released animals are unable to survive long term and may adversely impact the local ecosystem if they do. Some devout Buddhists will wear a simple white dress and spend the whole day in temples with renewed determination to observe the eight precepts. Devout Buddhists undertake to lead a noble life according to the teaching by making daily affirmations to observe the five precepts. However, on special days, notably new moon and full moon days, they observe the eight precepts to train themselves to practice morality, simplicity, and humility. Some temples also display a small statue of the Buddha in front of the altar in a small basin filled with water and decorated with flowers, allowing devotees to pour water over the statue. It is symbolic of the cleansing of a practitioner's bad karma, and to reenact the events following the Buddha's birth, when devas and spirits made heavenly offerings to him. Devotees are expected to listen to talks given by monks. On this day, monks will recite verses uttered by the Buddha 25 centuries ago to invoke peace and happiness for the government and the people. Buddhists are reminded to live in harmony with people of other faiths and to respect the beliefs of other people as the Buddha taught. Topic. Bringing happiness to others Celebrating Visakha also means making special efforts to bring happiness to the unfortunate like the aged, the handicapped and the sick. To this day, Buddhists will distribute gifts in cash and kind to various charitable homes throughout the country. Visakha is also a time for great joy and happiness, expressed not by pandering to one's appetites but by concentrating on useful activities such as decorating and illuminating temples, painting and creating exquisite scenes from the life of the Buddha for public dissemination. Devout Buddhists also vie with one another to provide refreshments and vegetarian food to followers who visit the temple to pay homage to the Enlightened One. Topic. Paying homage to the Buddha Tradition ascribes to the Buddha himself instruction on how to pay him homage. Just before he died, he saw his faithful attendant Ananda, weeping. The Buddha advised him not to weep, but to understand the universal law that all compounded things including even his own body must disintegrate. He advised everyone not to cry over the disintegration of the physical body but to regard his teachings the Dhamma as their teacher from then on, because only the Dhamma truth is eternal and not subject to the law of change. He also stressed that the way to pay homage to him was not merely by offering flowers, incense, and lights, but by truly and sincerely striving to follow his teachings. This is how Buddhists are expected to celebrate Vesak, to use the opportunity to reiterate their determination to lead noble lives, to develop their minds, to practice loving kindness and to bring peace and harmony to humanity. Topic. Dates of observance The exact date of Vesak is based on the Asian lunisolar calendars and is primarily celebrated in Vaisakha month of the Buddhist calendar and the Hindu calendar, and hence the name Vesak. 
In Nepal, which is considered the birth country of Buddha, it is celebrated on the full moon day of the Vaisakha month of the Hindu calendar, and is traditionally called Buddha Purnima, Purnima meaning the full moon day in Sanskrit. In Theravada countries following the Buddhist calendar, it falls on a full moon Upasatha day, typically in the fifth or sixth lunar month. Nowadays, in Sri Lanka, Nepal, India, and Bangladesh, Vesak, Buddha Purnima is celebrated on the day of the full moon in May in the Gregorian calendar. In Thailand, Laos, Indonesia, Vesak is celebrated on the 14th or 15th day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar. In China, and Korea, Vietnam, Buddha's birthday is celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar, in Japan the same day but in the Gregorian calendar. The date varies from year to year in the Western Gregorian calendar, but usually falls in April or May. In leap years it may be celebrated in June. In Bhutan it is celebrated in 15th day of 4th month of Bhutanese calendar based on lunar calendar. In the following table, year numbers in the range 2500-2599 are B Buddhist era. Topic. In Japan In Japan, Vasaka or Hanamatsuri Waji is also known as Kanbutsu, Guanfo Wei Guten, Zhang Dan Wei Bushao, Fo Sheng Wei Yokubitsu, Yu Fo Wei Ryuje, Long Hua Wei and Hanaoshiki. Huawei It is not a public holiday. It is based on a legend that a dragon appeared in the sky on the Buddha's birthday and poured Soma over him. It used to be celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese calendar based on one of the legends that proclaims the day as Buddha's birthday. At present, the celebration is observed on 8 April of the solar calendar since the government of Meiji Japan adopted the Western solar calendar as the official calendar. Since the eighth day of the fourth month in the lunar calendar commonly falls in May of the current solar calendar, it is now celebrated about a month earlier. In Japan, Vesak celebrations include pouring gan cha a, matcha, a sweet tea made from hydrangea macrophylla, on statues. In Buddhist religious sites such as temples and viharas, more involved ceremonies are conducted for lay Buddhists, priests, and monks and nuns. In Nepal Vesak, commonly known in Nepal as Buddha Janti, is widely celebrated all across the country, predominantly, Lumbini, the birthplace of Buddha, and Swayambhu, the holy temple for Buddhists, also known as the Monkey Temple. The main door of Swayambu is opened only on this very day, therefore, people from all over Kathmandu Valley are stimulated by the event. Thousands of pilgrims from various parts of the world come together to celebrate Buddha's birthday at his birthplace, Lumbini. In Nepal, Buddha is worshipped by all religious groups, therefore, Buddha Janti is marked by a public holiday. People donate foods and clothes to the needy and also provide financial aid to monasteries and schools where Buddhism is taught and practiced. In Sri Lanka Vesak is celebrated as a religious and a cultural festival in Sri Lanka on the full moon of the lunar month of Vesak usually in the Gregorian month of May, for about one week and this festival is often celebrated by different religious people in Sri Lanka. During this week, the selling of alcohol and fresh meat is usually prohibited, with abattoirs also being closed. Celebrations include religious and alms-giving activities. Electrically lit pandals called thoranas are erected in locations mainly in Colombo, Kandy, Gale and elsewhere, most sponsored by donors, religious societies and welfare groups. Each pandal illustrates a story from the Jataka tales. In addition, colorful lanterns called Vesak Kudu are hung along streets and in front of homes. They signify the light of the Buddha, Dharma and the Sangha. Food stalls set up by Buddhist devotees called Dansalas provide free food, ice cream and drinks to passers-by. Groups of people from community organizations, businesses and government departments sing Bhakti Ji Buddhist devotional songs. Colombo experiences a massive influx of people from all parts of the country during this week. Topic. In Korea In South Korea the birthday of Buddha is celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Korean lunar calendar as well as in Hong Kong, Macau, Vietnam and as an official holiday. This day is called Seogatanzanal -E meaning Buddha's birthday or Bukkonam Osin Nal meaning 
the day when the Buddha came. It has now grown into one of the nation's biggest cultural festivals. Lotus lanterns cover the entire temple throughout the month which are often flooded down the street. On the day of Buddha's birth, many temples provide free meals and tea to all visitors. The breakfast and lunch provided are often sanchai bibimbap. In Laos The Viksaka Busha festival is the Lao version of the Thai Visaka Puja, which it closely resembles. It commemorates the birth, enlightenment, and death of the Buddha, which are all said to have happened on the same date. It is held around the month of May or Vesak, based on the lunar calendar. Celebrations include dances, poems, parades, processions, deep meditation, theatrical performances, and puppet shows. Bone Bang Fei One part of the Viksaka Busha festival is called Bone Bang Fei, or Rocket Festival. As this occurs during the hottest and driest season of the year, large homemade rockets are launched into the sky in an attempt to convince the celestial beings to send down rain. Traditionally, Buddhist monks made the rockets out of hollow bamboo tubes filled with gunpowder, among other things. Nowadays, lay people make the bang fai more like fireworks and hold competitions for the highest, fastest and most colorful rockets. The event takes place on both sides of the Mekong River border between Thailand and the Lao People's Democratic Republic, and sometimes teams from the neighboring countries will compete against each other. Tourists travel long distances to witness this now popular event. In Vietnam Before 1975, the birthday of Buddha was a national public holiday in South Vietnam. It was a public festival with float and lantern parades on the streets. However, after the fall of Saigon, the day was no longer a public holiday. In Malaysia Celebrated by Buddhists to mark three momentous events in Buddha's life, his birth, enlightenment, and his departure from the human world, the Wisak celebration in Malaysia begins at dawn when devotees gather at Buddhist temples nationwide to meditate on the eight precepts. Donations, giving food to the needy and offerings of incense and joss sticks, and prayers are carried out. The sutras are chanted in unison by monks in saffron robes. The celebration is highlighted by a candle procession. Wisak Day in Malaysia is a national public holiday. In Bangladesh The Wisak Day is an important festival for most Bengali Buddhists if it is in Bangladesh, it is celebrated likely in Chittagong, Dhaka, and some other Buddhist places and people in Bangladesh. In Bangla language, it is known as Bado Purnima. It is also a public holiday in Bangladesh. In Indonesia This significant and traditional holy day is observed throughout Indonesia, where it is known as Waisak Day. At Borobudur, thousands of Buddhist monks will join together to repeat mantras and meditate as they circuit the temple in a ritual called Pradaksina. This is a form of tribute to the temple. Monks celebrate the special day by bottling holy water which symbolizes humility and transporting flames which symbolize light and enlightenment from location to location. The monks also took part in the Pindapada ritual, where they received charity from the people of Indonesia. Waisak Day in Indonesia has been celebrated as a national public holiday every year since 1983. In Singapore In Singapore, Vesak Day was made a public holiday in 1955 after many public petitions, replacing Whit Monday. In the early decades of the 20th century, Vesak Day was associated with the Ceylonese community which then celebrated it along with their National Day in a two-day event. After World War II, there was a movement to make Vesak Day a public holiday, with the Singapore Buddhist Association leading the petitions. At the United Nations. In 1999, the United Nations General Assembly adopted Resolution 54-115, entitled International Recognition of the Day of Vesak at United Nations Headquarters and Other United Nations Offices. 
The resolution internationally recognized the day of Vesak to acknowledge the contributions that Lord Buddha and Buddhism have made for over two and a half millennia. It also called for annual commemoration of the day at the UN headquarters, in New York, and other UN offices around the world. The day of Vesak is an official holiday for the UN offices in many of the countries in Southeast Asia. References Topic. External links The Significance of Vesic, Buddha Day Template, United Nations Day of Vesic